How's it going, David and Compo Investments? So, got some stuff back from CGC and just stuff in general. I figure I'd showcase all this stuff like I normally do. I wasn't even in the mood to do a video today because it was so hot. But then I took a shower, cooled off, and I was like, okay, I guess I'll do one. I have the energy now. Uh, so, yeah, this is, I get way more stuff than this, but I'm just showcasing some things because either I don't feel like talking about it, I don't think it's that great of a book, or I've done it a billion times. And so, you know, maybe just don't care. I don't have anything interesting to say or anything like that. So yeah, so let's just jump into it. Um, let's go with the stack right here. I got some, here's Evil Ernie number four. I don't think I've ever showed this one before. I've had this one before, but uh, it's $99. I know there's some people that really like those horror books and uh, new horror, I guess, and they've asked a bunch about it. Uh, so there, there's one. Here we go, Metal Gear Solid number one. This is the Foxhole variant, uh, 449. I remember playing Metal Gear Solid number one. I'd go to my friend's house and yeah, we just played together, loved it. I thought it was great. I wanted to get a PlayStation just for that game. Never did though. Uh, I ended up getting PlayStation 2, and I might have gotten a Metal Gear game. I can't remember. This is like a thousand years ago. First appearance of the Kingpin in Spider-Man number 50 in a 7-0. Thought it'd be 6-5. Got 7-0, so good there. 17-59. Now, I feel like there's something recent news about Kingpin. Like he was going to be in an upcoming show or something like that. Yeah, the Disney shows, actually, Bob Iger just came out and said that uh, they've been ruining the MCU, the Disney Plus shows, and uh, so I think he's going to start pulling the plug on a lot of them, and basically, they've diminished the quality of MCU, which kind of agree. Um, there's a few that were okay, but overall, I think they did kind of diminish the specialness, but that's, you can't put the entire thing on the Disney Plus shows. It's also in the movies have not really been good. So even if you never had the Disney Plus show, the What If was great. I like that one. Uh, never had those. The movies would still come out and just be subpar. So first appearance of Sabrina the Teenage Witch in uh, Archie's Madhouse number 22. That would be 4-5, got a 4-0. I know they had a Sabrina TV show. I don't know, lasted like a day or something. For all I know, it could still be on and be like a huge hit show. I have no idea. There's too many shows. Um, Avengers number four. First Silver Age appearance of Captain America. So he died and then he came back. His revival. Um, 1459. Hmm. Good looking. All right, here we go. This is a pretty rare book. Especially in high grade, this is not a high grade. But this is a 2-0 Batman 121, first appearance of Mr. Freeze. Now, I think he didn't show up for another, like, forever. Like, I don't know, what year is this? Like, 50-something, early 50s. 50, oh, 59. I want to say he didn't show up for, like, another 10 years. Um, but, yeah. Um, 1699. Batman 227, uh, 679. So if I don't say the grade, it's because either I bought it like that from someone or um, it came back the grade I want it. So here we go, The Fighting Yank. Classic cover. I don't know why this, I mean, the girl's like changing. So I guess if a girl is changing for like old, old timey comic books, that means it's a classic cover. Uh, Fighting Inc. 21. That would be a 4 5, got a 3 0, oh, so not good. 12 99. From Ace Periodicals. Favorite four. Four favorites. Number 25. That would be an 8 0, oh, get an 8 5, uh, 12 99. Puts it in one of the top grades. There we go. Here's a good book. You guys all love. Giant size X number one. Now, I thought this would be a 3-0, but I got a 1-5. So that was a terrible 
misjudgment on my part, but I also looked at it again, and I think that this is a poor grade on CGC's part. Um, like the back cover, I mean, obviously it has some creasing, a little staining, but nothing too major. It's mostly the spine split that goes up, I don't know, a couple inches, uh, but no spine split at the top. Honestly, this book should be a 2.0, maybe even 2.5, but it's not really that much a difference in price if you send it in again. And then if it comes back, again, a 1.5 or 1.8 or a 2.0, it's pretty much, you know, you spend a bunch of money for nothing. Um, 11.79. First appearance of, I almost said Jane Fonda. Um, Jane Fonda is that girl on Grace and Frankie. And I know she's, I'm pretty sure that's the name. And I know she's been an actress for way, way long before. But that's the only thing I've seen her in. Um, what is this book? Jane Foster. I know I have it on here. Oh, here it is. Uh, $16.99. Now, here is a book I guarantee you haven't seen. Well, maybe some of you out there have seen, but I don't think you've ever seen it in a case. Why? Because this is not only the single highest grade, but it's one of two. That's right. There's only one other one that has been graded by CGC. And this is right here. It's like, I mean, this is like a custom case or something like that. And it's like, you hear that? It's like they didn't glue down the sides or something. I don't know. So it's like kind of like clips or whatever. Yeah, weird sounding. Anyways, um, I don't even think it has, uh, like this spot has like a little thing where you can see where they put like the glue and I guess it just didn't hold. Uh, but this side doesn't even have one. It's like a custom case for this book. Um, anyways, 5-0, it's thick. Look how thick it is. Super, super thick. I mean, it's in the case, it's all, tied together, just like on these sides, it's like a little loose, probably because it's so huge. Um, massive, massive. It's like the size of like three CGC books. It's called Xmas Comics Number One. It's by Fawcett Comics. Um, nothing too special about it, like in the first appearance or anything. Um, $69.99. Now, why is it that high? I don't know. There's really no that, that many sales. I think it is a little high, but I don't want to sell it. It's single highest grade. I don't know, if someone really wants to buy it, they can, but um, if someone's looking for, and if you want to know what the next grade is, there's only one of two, this one at a 5.0, and then one at a 2.0. So I bet there's some out there um, that just haven't been graded that are probably around the same grade, I would imagine. I don't really know, because they don't come up that often. Rarely, rarely, rarely. I think there's one on eBay that's raw, but it's a very low grade, and might even be restored. I'm not sure, but yeah. All right. Then we got X-Men number five. Ooh, in the seven, five, 10, 99. Second appearance of the X-Men, first appearance of Brad Pitt. He played the Vanisher. If you guys haven't seen Deadpool 2. That'd be three, five, got four, oh, seven, 99. Yeah, I saw the images of um, Wolverine. The only thing, I, I wish he had sleeves or sleeveless right here. The pictures of Wolverine. Um, his suit covers the whole thing. I don't really like that as much. Especially since Hugh Jackman is in shape. So, um, yeah, I wish he would have that. I hope he has his mask. I understand he's not going to wear it the whole time or probably just briefly. But I hope at some point he does. I really don't want to know anything else about the movie. I know it comes out in like a year, but I really don't want to know too much. I want to, I've heard rumors. I don't even want to say it because I don't want to get my hopes up and I don't want you guys spoiling it for me. So, but I will just say I've heard rumors. They're probably not true. I d definitely not true, but that Wolverine will be fighting the Hulk which I know that won't happen. But I'm holding on to hope that it does happen. 
but it won't. Um, but anyways, I don't want to know about it, even if it does. I want to go in there fresh. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I love Ryan Reynolds. I love Hugh Jackman. So I'm definitely going to see this. Uh, it will be good. It won't be garbage like some of the other ones. So I'm very pumped for this. Very, very pumped. Um, I don't even know which one this is. What is this? The 6 though? Okay, I have multiple of this book that I got on this week. Uh, UK variant, uh, $9.59. Yeah, if you want to see all these books and they're all the glory and all the ones I don't talk about, head over to collectorscomics.com. And we are running an auction um, very, very soon. Starts in three weeks. But got all the consignments. The deadline has already passed uh, by like a week. And I'm just getting them ready to get listed, all that good stuff. Ultimate Fallout 4 in the 96, 689. Top notch, number one. What was this first appearance of the wizard or something like that? Yep, Ordinary the first appearance of the wizard. 1939, super old. 1939. I'm like trying to think. Do I need, even know anyone that is a, that old? From 1939. The oldest person I know is my neighbor at my old townhouse. His name was Bud. I think he's still alive. And he's like 100. That's the oldest person I know. Um, I don't know if he's still alive. I haven't been over there in many years. Uh, Top Notch Comics. That'd be 2-5. This book got split from the cover from the book. And I know that it was sent in not split. So I'm sure someone opened it and they split it or dropped it or something. Uh, I can't prove anything. There's nothing I can really do. It's just one of those things that, whatever. Six ninety nine. So I'm very disappointed and sad because I hate. I don't honestly. If CGC messes up a book and it's like one of a billion, right? I send in a an ultimate follow up for, and they drop it or they put a tear in it or something like that. I don't. It's like, oh, that sucks because it's money gone. But I don't really care that much other than the fact that it's money gone. And I know some of you guys are going to freak out and be like, why? You should care all the time. Well, there's nothing I can do to prove it. And they're like, well, you should take pictures. I'm not going to take pictures of every single book I s before I send it in. And then even then, it's going to be a big old battle. And it's not really worth it. Um, they'll probably deny it anyways and all sorts of stuff. Uh, they'll probably say that's how we got it in. I mean, it's just my word versus them. Even if I have pictures. Anything could happen after those pictures. And how do you say when those pictures were actually taken? Could have been taken a week ago. Then I damaged the book. Then I sent it in. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I don't care that much, right? Obviously, if I had a very expensive book, like a $50,000 book, and they dropped it and it went down to like 30 grand, yes, I would care. But if, um, if it's a book, you know, and it drops it a couple hundred dollars in price, maybe even a thousand dollars obviously i care that's a thousand dollars but the, what i really get mad about is when it's a book that can't be replaced or there's not many of them right there's not many of this top notch comics number one um and so when you ruin a book like that it's just ruined i remember this was one time i got a it was a marvel mysteries comic and i this is almost a decade ago not even a decade like a seven years ago I got it off someone off eBay and they, <laughs> I, I always tell them how to pack it, pack it very safe and stuff like that. They taped the actual book to the cardboard. I was like, make sure you smash it in between two pieces of cardboard so it doesn't get damaged. They taped the actual book to the cardboard and I was just like, oh my gosh. And like, I was trying really hard to take, I, I was able to get off most of the tape, but it did leave a few like tape pull tears. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I was so mad. I was like, this was like the second highest grade without those tape poles. And now it's down to, I don't know, way, way, way down. Um, and I was like, I'm most mad at the fact that, that 
they don't make more of these. And there's not just, it's not like an ultimate Fallout 4 where there's probably, you know, 50,000 in like a 9.6 or a 9.8. Like, it's not rare. Like, this was rare. It's like, this is going to be the second highest grade. There was, there's probably never going to be another one that will ever compete with that one. Well, now that's dropped way, way down. But I was like, you just ruined something that like, there's no replacement for this. There was, I got an Adventures of Bob Hope, very similar thing. They shipped it terribly, a corner fell off, and it was the single highest grade, and now it was whatever. It dropped way, way down. And I was like, look, you just ruined something that cannot be replaced. Like, you just can't replace it. You can't get another one. There is no other one. Like, this would have been the nicest copy anyone have seen, has seen. And now, when someone tries to even see what the book looks like in all its glory, they're going to have to go for a much lower grade and, you know, see with spine splits or tears and missing pieces and stuff like that. You know, this was like complete, like looked really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing that bums me out the most is like, they're not replaceable. Uh, these older books, like you ruin them. They're ruined. They're, it's, it's not like a modern book. Like that's why, you know, moderns are like way different. Even like I say modern, but even like newer books, um, even like a Hulk 181, right? If, if someone damages that, it's like, okay, you're just one of a million different Hulk 181s out there. So, all right, Tales from the Ozone. I thought it'd be a 9.8, got a 9.6. I'm on the fence about sending this back, but uh, 7.99. What was it? I remember I just looked at this thing like a thousand times. Now, here's the thing. It's like, I've seen 9.8s worse than this book. I'm just like so on the fence about sending it back in. But then it's like, okay, do I want to pay another hundred dollars? And then it comes back the same grade. Then I'm just, because I have to look at this from a business point of view. Like I'm not, um, I'm not the, the end of this. Like I'm just the middleman, right? I get this and I sell it to someone who will have it in their collection for years, if not decades. And, so for me, though, it's like, okay, I, I'm this much into the book, and now I have to ask myself, do I want to spend another $100, another $100? Like, how many times do I want to spend $100 to get this um, to the grade I want? Like, really on the fence. I don't know. I might send it back in. It's got to be something. I mean, there's two spine ticks right there that I can see pretty easily. But the thing is, they're a little longer than your average spine tick. So that's kind of, and oh, I think it's this thing. There's like, you know, on like the top corners of a book, uh, maybe it's not really split, but like, you know how there's multiple layers on a cover? It's like the top layer is kind of splitting a little bit. So it's like, there's two spine dings mixed with that little fraying at the top. It's just like one of those things like, I don't know. I don't know. In any case, where is this book? $7.99. Superman 32. You know what's really annoying? You send in a book to CGC based off the price and you have to put it in the tier based off the price that you think it's going to be if it gets the grade that you think it's going to be. Now, if they grade it lower, they don't give you a discount. They're like, oh, I'm sorry, this doesn't belong this this tier. That's like so annoying. It's like, okay, well, what am I supposed to do? Like if, if you're not a very good grader and you're like, okay, this is obviously a 9.8, but it's really like a 9.2 and you send it in, oh, the 9.8, well, okay, well, 9.8 in that book is worth $3,000, you know, 4,000, 5,000, whatever. You have to send it in a walkthrough. And then you get it back, and it's like a 9.2, and it's like, oh, well, this book is now a couple hundred bucks. You know? Yeah. So that's the kind of thing that's, like, annoying. So they don't just like, oh, well, technically this should have been in the lower tier, and so we're going to give you a discount. No. And then they do fair market value. It's like someone actually, like, looking at this book. It's like, oh, okay, you sent this walkthrough. Like, that's what I don't understand. You send it in a walkthrough. Let's say... You think this book's going to be a 9.8 and it goes walkthrough. It's going to be worth five grand. 
uh, what is it like 3% or something like that. So it's like $150. Um, if I did my math, right. Um, so you mark it down as walkthrough. You think it's going to be a nine, eight. Do you then pay the price because they look at the sheet and goes, Oh, he thinks it's a nine, eight. It's worth five grand. We'll do 3%, 150. Um, or do they grade it first? Okay. It came back a nine, two. Uh, so we'll charge you the 3% because you did walk through. So you did still get the service. We'll charge you 3%. Well, now a nine, two is worth $200. I don't think so. I think they charge it based off what you graded. So then, well, then how would that work? What if I did it walk through and I only said it was the nine, six price, which would be like a thousand dollars. Then it comes back a nine, eight. I wonder if I'm paying. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious. Maybe you guys know, um, I don't know. I haven't really looked that deep into it. It's just a thought that just now popped in my head. I don't even know this. Superman 32. 1999. I've been going on too long. This is supposed to be a short video. Superman 26. Very cool book. Um, thought it'd be 4 got 3 5 29 Startling Comics. 25. Uh, came back greater one in six ninety nine. Silver Surfer, number four, great cover. Uh, I thought I'd be an eight. Oh, God, seven, so I was gonna do that. Twelve twenty nine. And last but not least, number three. Seven ninety nine. That'll be it. Let me do this. Have a good day.